Imagine a world where the secret to better sexual health could be found in a simple supplement. Well, surprisingly, that's the promise many erectile dysfunction supplements claim to deliver. But what's actually inside these capsules? Let's break it down. First up, there's red ginseng. This extract, found in many popular sexual health supplements, works by increasing the production of nitric oxide, which in turn can enhance blood flow to the erectile tissue. Though affordable and generally safe, it's worth noting that there's currently not enough quality evidence to recommend it as a first-line therapy for erectile dysfunction. Next, we have horny goatweed, an extract of the epimedium plant. Despite some promising results in animal studies, there's no concrete evidence of improvement in sexual health among humans. Its toxicity is rare and generally mild. Then, there's fenugreek, also known as methi. This member of the Fabeki plant family has shown some encouraging results in human clinical trials, with significant increases reported in sexual arousal and orgasm domains. However, more human trials are needed before it can be recommended for men. Next in line is Meka, a root vegetable used for male sexual health for decades. However, due to the limited hard evidence supporting its benefits for sexual health, it isn't recommended for routine use. Dehydroepiandrosterone, a naturally occurring steroid produced in the adrenal glands, has shown positive effects in at least two randomized controlled trials. However, data on its efficacy for treating sexual health problems is still lacking. Ginkgo biloba, promoted for a wide range of conditions including hypertension and Alzheimer's dementia, has been widely studied as an ED treatment. Unfortunately, the results have been mixed and there's no convincing clinical data to support its routine use in men with ED. Lastly, there's yohimbine, derived from the African yohimbi tree. It's one of the more promising natural products for the treatment of ED research has shown improved erectile function with a low incidence of adverse reactions. However, it hasn't been tested alongside first-line pharmaceuticals such as Viagra, so it should not be considered a first-line therapeutic choice. In conclusion, while these ingredients show potential, it's important to remember that more research is needed. So before turning to supplements, it's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional. After all, the key to better sexual health may lie in a balanced diet, regular exercise, and healthy lifestyle habits rather than a pill bottle.